Welcome back to my channel guys. Today we are going to work on a landscape together with watercolor. If you haven't checked my watercolor basics video before, please check it out right here because we will be using most of those techniques in this video. All the materials I used in this video will be listed in the description part of this video. So if you're interested, just check it out. My full-time tutorials, they are available on my Patreon website, patreon.com slash And before we start, guys, I just want to remind you, if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe to show your support. So get your brushes and your watercolor ready. You're gonna create wonders. Welcome to landscape with only three colors tutorial. So I am wetting my paper as the first step. I want to make sure that it's thoroughly wet and then I'm going to add the very base layer. In every landscape watercolor painting, we have to make sure that we add the base layer first, whether it be blue or blue and you know, brown, whatever you want to do. In my case, it's brown. I'm adding which colors I'm using uh, on the left column for a while and also I'm going to include those color names in the description part. I am adding my base layers and I'm adding some dark shadows right there to give the cloud effect. Slowly I'm working on my sky. Before you enter your second layer, once you're happy with your first layer, you can always dry and you can add more layers much later. I think for landscape, for the sky especially, it is best to work with your paper when it's wet and get the most details done as soon as possible while it's still wet. I added some yellow, it's a very pretty yellow and because I wanted to give some kind of sunset effect. And yellow goes pretty good with this tone of brown really. I'm doing the first series of mountain mountain ranges in the background i used a lot of water in in that brown color because they are at the very back so they are not going to be very bright in color or they're not going to be darker they're going to be much lighter so it's perspective guys at the very back they're going to be lighter and as they come towards to you as an audience you're looking at this photo or a picture or painting then it's going to get darker and darker when you are painting, you should see yourself as a photographer and you're taking a picture. Especially in this example, I don't have any reference photo. I'm drawing from my mind, so definitely it's harder for me to guess where, where it's darker, where, it's, where it is lighter. But because I know that the further ones will be lighter, that's what I'm going with. I'm adding this mountain on the front as you can see i am having some brush strokes to give the realistic effect i'm drying my paper now it looks good for the first layer i'm gonna add the last series of mountains which will be the darkest and for this i'm mixing my black and brown So they will be ending on a waterfront so you will see I'm gonna also make the water reflection so you'll be able to see how to make a reflection. In order to do that let me paint the base color of the water as well and it's going to be again brown. I'm going to use the same color but very light like almost sky color because I'm mixing a lot of water with my paint. And I am starting with the reflections. Reflections should be the same shape of the mountain or the forest, but in a mirror image. Because it's on the water, it has to have these horizontal strokes because it is water. You have to give that effect that it is in the water. Otherwise, it's not going to look like that. It's going to look like just mirror. 
I am drying and I'm going to add more layers but first I'm fixing some things that I didn't like in the first place I'm adding more shadows there as you can see I'm using different brown tones but I am using the same color guys I'm just adding less water more water just to add more shades you can see different kinds of shades of the same color here but you have to be consistent with where the sun is coming from the sunlight is coming from so for example if you make the right part of the mountain bright and then next to it there's another mountain and you make the right part dark that just doesn't make sense because sun basically shines on the same way on the both mountains so we have to be careful about that when we are drawing from our minds so after i dried it up i am making my reflections also a little bit darker you don't have to do that i don't know why i did that in this day and this time i felt like doing it but you don't have to do it you can keep it uh, that light or even middle tone <laughs> After I dry, I'm going to go in with my white gouache and add some wave effect or let's say foam effect. As you can see at the bottom of the mountains, there are just some kind of white lines. What, what are those? Those are the waves that are actually um, hitting the mountain. So they are making some kind of waves or foams. That's why I wanted to keep them white there. As you can see, I added very thin lines with my gouache and they're not perfectly straight. They're not perfectly continuous because that's how the re reflection works. And unfortunately, the lower part of my paper didn't show up in this video very well, but I'm gonna explain what I did there. Basically, I am adding the horizontal lines with my brown color onto the water because I want to give that water effect. I'm adding more white gouache because I want to give that wave effect. Now I am adding the plant blowing with the wind towards right. We have to give that wind effect if you draw one towards right and the other one towards left it's gonna confuse whoever is looking at this painting right so where is the wind blowing oh towards right because that's where all plants are leaning towards still so that's the important part so from bottom to top i painted those plants and they were really easy because i just did it with black but you have to make sure that the base paint is dry and your brush is a little bit of wet I am making it even darker right now again you don't have to do this it's all up to you and your taste I'm going to fix a little bit more things in the sky just the clouds and I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow because I really like how it looked as you can see the paper is coming out sometimes when you wet the paper too much it might come out so you have to pick that up with your tissue I hope you find this tutorial really helpful if you like my videos guys please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel please I really appreciate that <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. I post every Tuesday and Thursday for you. I appreciate any comments you have. Bye.